Good morning, my name is Roy Luera. I am the director of the Houston National Cemetery. I am pleased to be with you as we honor our heroes who have made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedoms and our way of life. Of course, Memorial Day is so important for those of us at the National Cemetery Administration, where approximately 80% of our team members are veterans. We understand the real purpose of this day, to honor the patriots who were lost in battle throughout our history. This understanding defines what NCA does. We are here to take care of veterans and their families during their most difficult time. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic has required us to change daily operations and has prevented us from paying tribute the way we normally would as we inter each veteran in this sacred ground. We have adjusted to guidance from public health officials. The pandemic is also requiring us to hold a different type of Memorial Day ceremony this year. I want to give a special thank you to each of you for everything you do to honor our veterans, including your participation here today. With that pandemic in mind, I ask you to take a moment to reflect on our fellow Americans who have been the victims of COVID-19, as well as their grieving family members. In addition, think about the healthcare workers who have risked their own lives to help their fellow citizens who have been afflicted with a devastating coronavirus. This includes our dedicated colleagues in VA healthcare. Let us never forget their sacrifices. We at NCA understand our roots and our mission. We also do whatever we can to memorialize veterans. One of our latest innovations is the Veterans Legacy Memorial. This web-based memorial allows us to blend tradition with technology in order to honor the service and sacrifice of our nation's veterans. Every veteran interred in this cemetery has a memorial page on VLM. And now VLM has been expanded so that anyone can write a tribute to that veteran on his or her page. This is especially poignant today, considering the COVID-19 restrictions on large gatherings. Through the internet, people anywhere, not just on Memorial Day, but on any day, can pay respects to veterans resting in our cemeteries. They can also learn more about these veterans and their sacrifices they have made on our behalf. The Veterans Legacy Memorial supports our vision of no veteran ever dies. Additionally, I would like to encourage you to participate in the National Moment of Remembrance at 3 p.m. local time. Please pause from whatever you're doing for a moment of silence. Again, I would like to thank you for everything you do every day to make sure no veteran ever dies. May God bless you, our service members, and the United States of America. Almighty God, on this Memorial Day, we remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice for the freedoms we enjoy every day. We come together united as one to honor those sacrifices. Please hold our servicemen and women in your strong arms. Cover them with your sheltering grace and your presence as they stand in the gap for our protection. We also remember the families of our troops. We ask for your unique blessing to fill their homes, and we pray your peace, provision, and strength will fill their lives. May the members of our armed forces be supplied with courage to face each day. We humbly ask these things in your holy name. Amen.
Hello, my name is Rob Worley, Executive Director of the Houston VA Regional Office. I'm a 33-year Air Force veteran and a Gold Star son. I consider it an honor to have the opportunity to speak to you on the occasion of the Houston National Cemetery Memorial Day observance. I would much, much rather be doing this in your presence at the serene and beautiful venue of the Houston National Cemetery. And I very much look forward to the day when we can once again join together in person to honor the fallen on this solemn day. To the families and friends of the fallen, and to all America's veterans, I bring you well wishes and greetings from Secretary Wilkie. 155 years ago, at the end of America's Civil War, a most devastating conflict in our nation's history, families of the fallen, blue and gray, gathered in cemeteries, large and small, to pray and to enshroud the graves of their loved ones with flowers. Across the country, from heartland to mountaintop, these mournful visits by the bereaved were a common sight. It is from those solemn gatherings for the fallen that our modern Memorial Day ceremonies arose. And it is from the famous words of one of America's most beloved leaders regarding that bloody civil war and our responsibilities as a nation in its aftermath that our mission at the Department of Veterans Affairs originates. President Lincoln delivered his second inaugural address on March 4, 1865, five days before the surrender of Robert E. Lee's Army of Northern Virginia, and just 41 days before his assassination. His iconic speech, etched in granite at the Lincoln Memorial, still provides the true North for those of us privileged to work at VA today. In his remarks, Lincoln chose to remind all Americans about the debt the nation has to those who fight for our freedom and the obligations we all have to the families of those who sacrifice their lives in our defense. He said, with malice toward none, with charity for all, with firmness in the right, as God gives us to see the right, let us strive on to finish the work we are in, to bind up the nation's wounds, to care for him who shall have borne the battle and for his widow and his orphan, to do all which may achieve and cherish a just and a lasting peace among ourselves and with all nations." End quote. Those words constitute the basis of our VA mission to care for our living veterans and their families. From generation to generation, Americans have answered the call to duty. The America we know would not exist today if it were not for those who loved freedom and cherished liberty enough to fight for it. From Bunker Hill to Baghdad, in small skirmishes and in epic battles, courageous Americans of every generation have stepped forward to fight for freedom when called upon. And so on this day, we choose to remember, to honor, and to express our gratitude to them all. Our country has been blessed with an abundance of such men and women who devoted their lives to principles far greater than self. One such man was my father, Robert Franklin Worley, who was shot down and killed in Vietnam on July 23, 1968, while flying an RF-4 fighter jet. His name is etched in granite at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial along with over 58,000 men and women who sacrificed their lives in the Vietnam War. To their legacy and to all of the fallen, we give honor and respect. Such is the measure of courage, selflessness, and devotion to duty of the fallen, whose names are forever memorialized in VA and state veteran cemeteries across our country and around the world. While we are not able to gather together physically on this solemn day, we can still join our hearts and our spirits to remember and honor those who gave their lives in uniform just by spending a quiet moment paying homage to their courage and sacrifice and honoring the selflessness with which they did their duty so that our Republic would be preserved. Over 19 million living American veterans and the Department of Veterans Affairs Honor the service and sacrifice of all our fallen who have guaranteed our rights and secured our liberties. 
May God bless those we honor today, their families, those currently serving America in uniform, and all of our nation's veterans. Thank you.